to understand how trees compete to form the patterns we observe from the forest floor, scientists looked skyward and came face to leaf with the bloodsuckers of the plant kingdom. Plant Brutality! Above the forest canopy, a vampire surveys branched throats from the bowels of a passing bird. This vampire is a mere mistletoe seed, enveloped in a thick, sticky, mucilaginous fluid. This glue-like fluid will be handy as the bird's bowels rumble. Its cloaca opens and the seed pounces onto its victim. Now the mistletoe slowly reveals its fangs, and it feasts upon its prey by penetrating its host's veins with root-like structures called haustoria. Once established, the mistletoe exercises a ghoulish restraint to keep its host in a state between life and death by tempering its sap lust with its host's survival needs, prolonging its own parasitic existence Indeed, this tenuous balance can persist for decades and weaken an infected tree's capability to compete against the daily assaults of its neighboring plants and other environmental changes. In a changing climate, for instance, mistletoe may be a keystone parasite, eliminating species unable to appease their appetites and thereby engineering the structure of forests around the globe. So are we, at the forest floor, simply the audience to a larger puppet show, where ecological interactions are just plucks of hostorial puppet strings from some vampiric Geppetto hidden in the canopy above. Plant Brutality is the product of a chemical imbalance in the Forest Ecohydrology Research Lab. If you would like to hear more stories about the savage side of plants and support future student research and animation, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.